Hello guys, it's Joey, and this is this week's Witchling, which is Transformation. The card reads, Self-Transformation is the evolving process of life that brings higher consciousness. From the book, Transformation is nothing to fear, self-awareness offers the key. Hollyhock accepts all that she is and all that she is intended to be. Magic itself is a transformational process, and transformation carves a path in bringing forth new inner vision. Self-transformation occurs through all stages of life because the spirit is ever-changing and always seeking greater wisdom. It creates a stream of healthy change for both matter and spirit, bringing new perspective as knowledge is poured into you like light. With transformation comes transcendence, which is a natural, gradual progression that takes place through discipline, insight and the spirit's will. So then for my thoughts on the card, there are two very universal symbols of transformation present within the card itself, and we'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see both. The first being the cauldron and the second being the butterfly. The cauldron is universally associated with witches, magic and transformation and change. In terms of pagan magic it is considered probably the tool of transformation, often associated with the womb of the goddess, of giving birth, life, death and rebirth being present in the cauldron. The cauldron is also often considered to be associated with the element of spirit more than any other element because of its transformational properties. The butterflies are connected with nature and are universally associated with transformation from caterpillar into a butterfly. It's probably the easiest symbol of change occurring and most well known. The butterflies are coming out of the spell of the cauldron, connecting them further. The relationship between magic and witchcraft and nature and the interconnectedness of all things through energy, which is constant and ever-changing, is therefore highlighted here. The overall tone of the card is purple. Ooh, other way. <laughs> Highlighting through colour association the relationship between spirit, energy and transformation. The element of wind, the winds of change, also appears depicted here, both in a corporeal sort of mist here, and in the fact that her hair and scarf are appearing windswept backwards. Wind can also be synonymous with spirit and transformation in another respect. Wind cannot be seen, but its effects can. It moves, it changes, it's part of the dance. The dress and the outfit is typically witchy, perhaps with a hint of the burlesque can, can dancer we saw in other cards because of the slit showing the leg, further connecting them to sort of the interconnectedness of transformation, energy, and the spirals, the dance of life. The hat, also synonymous with the cone of power or a personal power of a witch, is covered with flowers grow, which are growing and sort of moon plants. Zoom out a little bit and move the camera so you can see. Uh, both of which are connected with growth, cycles, nature, energy, magic, and sort of the lunar cycles, the cycles of life. So the whole image to me is relatively straightforward. She's bent forward, excited, embracing the magic, embracing the change. The change is a positive thing. The expression is one of uh, happiness and embracing what it is to be a witch. The cauldron is probably my favourite tool. I have a few of them. And you cannot disassociate the cauldron from witch in the modern consciousness. And the ability of a witch to shape their destiny and shape their magic is a transformational process and nowhere is that highlighted better than through the tool of the cauldron. 
So all in all, it's a relatively straightforward image. I do like this one. I think it's interesting, and I think it will be an interesting week. Many blessings.